Hey guys, welcome back to Power Tool 20, and today I'm gonna show you guys some more commands. This is Command School Episode 2, and we're gonna be learning first about the slash kill command. So, slash kill um, is a very basic command, and it's pretty easy. If you do um, slash kill at E, this will kill everything, and this would normally kill me, but I am in creative mode, so it did not kill me. Um, it did not kill the slimes because they're in multiple parts. See, then they turn the slime balls. You kill the items too, and kill more stuff because everything is always just respawning. And um, so anyway, um, that's slash kill. You can also do um, if you want to kill a certain thing, you can do slash kill at e type equals, and then what you want. So like if I wanted to only kill sheep, then I could do that. And see, that will only kill the sheep and not, like, slimes or anything. So, yeah. Um, the next thing that we're going to learn is, well, I was thinking about this. I want to do slash test for. So, slash test for is another command that's um, really helpful. Um, what I like to do is I like to put it on repeat and always active. And you can do, like, test for... Um, um, like whatever you want, but you have to do, um, ugh, I always do this wrong, test four, okay, and then you do at E whatever you want to test for, so like if I wanted to do, um, type equals chicken, um, or wait, I did that wrong, yeah, chicken, I need a bracket though, so like this, um, this will find the chicken, but, we can also take an out this using a comparator. So if we go like this, so what I'm trying to do here is place this like this, and I'm gonna do slash kill at E. So this will kill everything, but not me because I'm in creative mode. So kill at E. Now this will kill everything, like this, as you can see, and um. Can wait till a chicken respawns up oh, and a chicken respawn and if we kill this then as you can see nothing's there until a chicken will spawn hopefully in a couple seconds and we wait and we wait until this until there's a chicken in our world soon she can be spawn she's gonna do slash on chicken Slash summon chicken. Wait, oh, I accidentally said summon. Well, whatever. And there is a sheep that, or no, not a sheep, a chicken. Then, um, then as you can see, that'll light up. So I'll just do so summon chicken. As you can see, now it has found the chicken. I'm going to kill all of you now. Okay, so the next thing. Okay, so anyway, the next thing that we're going to learn is slash weather clear because I need this a lot. As you guys know in my videos, it rains a lot. So, slash weather clear will clear the weather. As you can see. Um, you can also make it, that way it is thunder, I believe you could do. And it, as you can see, it'll get really dark, and lightning will happen, as you just saw. And you can also do um, weather rain, like that, and it will rain normally, but it won't like thunderstorm. Um, and I'm going to do weather clear again because that is very useful. Okay, so the next command that we're going to be doing is a very useful command. It is called slash fill, or the fill command. And basically what happens is you pick two spots. So the two spots that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to mark with buttons. So the first spot that I want to do is... 154 at 26. So this would be whatever your coordinates is. 
pens or your coordinates are, um, it would be, or it would depend on how big you want your thing to be. So that's already one corner. Um, I'm going to make it go, so 161, 731, 161, 731. So as you can see, we have to put that in, 161, 731, and then we put it in whatever we want. So say I want this to be like iron underscore block, like this. So now, when I press this button, all of the spots that I just created will turn to iron, as you can see. This is a very useful.